so this morning we are going to do a little workout i just made my pre-workout clean energy all that i need for this workout here is where i'm at right now in my postpartum body i am 192 pounds i'm having the hardest time ever losing weight because i'm so starving all the time i'm eating really good but i just keep gaining weight just so it's fine i'm not gonna stress out about it too much not eating out dairy and gluten free um, no soda water only We just finished that workout and honestly like it was weirdly emotional because I had done this workout so many times when I was at my highest weight like 230 pounds and just like to see how far like how much I'm struggling today with it how much like progress I've lost from not like continuing up my workout routine while I was pregnant and it's kind of emotional but like it's good to know that it's not going to take a lot of time to get back to where I was as far as like just basic strength right because right now I'm not even using any weights it's just body weight so it's like a little bit emotional in that way like to see how hard it was for my body but it also felt really good and it also reminded me that like I've done this before and I can do it again so I'm at this place right now I know that I need to do like something that I don't want to do like I know that I need to make a change in my diet because I've been now for months dairy, gluten, and sugar-free. I'm exercising. Like, I am putting all the effort in. Like, all the effort that I have, I'm putting in, and it is not doing anything. Like, I'm the scale is only going up. I've never counted calories before as part of my weight loss journey, so it's hard for me to think, like, oh, well, maybe you're eating over... Anyways, I'm just, like, in this whole thing. But, like... I need to do something because I am so unhappy trying this hard and nothing happening. One thing that I really didn't want to do is like I didn't want to go, I didn't want to do the 21 day meal plan because I felt like nervous and unsure of myself and my ability to do it, which is so crazy. I've continued to see these posts over and over again that the thing that you need to do the most is the thing that you're the most scared to do. Okay, so today is day two of the 21 day meal plan and I lost 50 pounds. So I'm gonna take it because normally the changes that I've made, I don't see any difference the next day. And so I'm not gonna rush it, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> chocolate coffee that I made for today. I measured it out and it's 70 calories. Vinny is like so mad in the background. Uh, 70 calories. I put a cup of coconut milk, espresso, and two scoops of chocolate green. Lunch today is a taco salad. I used the rest of the lettuce that I had for smoothies. And then I put some salsa, brown rice, um, cilantro rice, Greek yogurt, and ground turkey.
in my morning routine, the first thing I do when I wake up is I take some pre-workout and I allow my body to wake up. And then I try to get a workout done before the kid get up and then I have to make the breakfast and everything else. So um, I took two scoops just because I've been taking one and not feeling it the way that I want to feel it. So I took two scoops of grape today. So this morning I was doing a yoga workout, which I quit like five times and then came back to realizing I was really sore, so I needed to do the workout, but I didn't get very far until the baby needed me. So I brought him to the mat and then I finished my workout with him. He's almost ready to roll over, so he was practicing touching his toes and stretching while I was doing mine. It was actually really cute, but he was definitely not happy today. It's okay, I tried to talk him through it. It was only for 30 minutes and we just needed to get it done to have a better day. So this is transparency of working out with a five month old. So I finished my first full week doing the 21 day meal plan as much as possible and committing to doing the 21 day beach body workouts every day at home, waking up first thing in the morning, getting it done. I only took one rest day and that was because I was so sore from just starting to work out again. Because my weight loss has been so slow this time around, I had started at 192 around June 30th and now I'm 188 point zero so i lost four pounds um and i've been only gaining weight since my son was born so i will take those four pounds um i can definitely tell a huge difference in just my overall energy mood and everything else so i'm going to keep going and doing exactly what i'm doing right now having no fruit smoothies in the morning something else i've been doing is i went and got a couple of cute outfits to try to like feel more comfortable in my body because one of the things that i wasn't doing was i was saying i wasn't going to go and get any clothes that would fit my body because i wasn't happy in the body that i was in and i wasn't going to buy a bigger size clothes so i was like i'm just gonna you know, wear these clothes that don't fit me and being comfortable as motivation to like get skinnier, but that wasn't helping. It was only making me more upset by not feeling good about my body every single day. So I went and got some cute outfits and that kind of gives me a little bit of a confidence boost, which therefore motivates me even more to keep going. Not a lot, I just got a couple outfits really like keeping the same routine every day making very similar meals with similar ingredients so i'm not getting so many groceries and overwhelmed with all the groceries that i have a lot of repeat meals lots of water pre-workout in the morning smoothie and then a lunch and a dinner to leave me anywhere from like 1800 to 2000 calories a day i've definitely had some bathroom issues since my son was born and so i have been trying to work on that and find different things for that too um so it's kind of just like an all over journey i will say that my workouts were extremely difficult in the beginning and i felt like i don't know how i ever did this how am i ever going to do this because it's so hard but the truth is just the improvements that I've made from the first day till now, doing the same workout over again, it's so much different and it's so much better. I'm gonna keep going. I'm excited to see change again. Uh, I did this before, obviously going from 230 to 137, so I know that I can do it again. I'm trying to do little things like doing my hair, doing my makeup, organizing the house. Um, our house got completely out of control after my son was born. And so trying to keep the house clean and organized and doing all that too. Um, going to sleep with a clean kitchen and all of that. It's all the changes that I've made um, because I felt like my life was getting really out of control just literally a couple weeks ago. So it feels really good into a lifestyle because I went so long without doing my usual routine. I kind of grew out of it being pregnant and sick and COVID and all of that. It was just everything at once. And so I'm excited to get back to where I was, where I was doing really well. Not always going to be perfect. I'm always going to try. I will say getting pregnant really did throw me off because I 
had been maintaining my weight for years but then I had a goal to not gain very much weight and then I ended up gaining 40 pounds. One month, I gained 12 of those pounds. I had a crazy appetite. It's fine, it's all fine, um, but I do have to do the steps to get rid of it. I tried messing with my calories a few times to find that sweet spot. I went 14, 16, 18, 2000, and right now I am losing better at around 1800 to 2000 kind of like the scale wouldn't move if i stayed between 1400 and 1600 the scale would just would not budge at all and the days that i was 1800 to 2000 i saw a little bit of a decrease so i also felt a lot better and i wasn't starving so there's also that too anyways that's all that i have for this video make sure to subscribe to follow my journey getting back to my goal weight of 100 and 50 ish pounds we'll see um i want to get back into my old clothes and i want to feel better and have more energy and all of that so that is where i'm going now and make sure to follow me on instagram at my adventure to fit and i'll see you guys in the next video